Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Tech Tactics here, and today we're going to be comparing the 120mm fan to a 140mm fan to this giant 200mm fan. So, in this comparison, we're going to talk about uh, the airflow provided, the RPM, and how loud they get, and which would be a better choice for your computer build. So, as you can see here, I have all three sizes, and let's go ahead and get right on into this right after this video. Alright, so now that we're back, let's go ahead and start with the probably the coolest looking 200mm fan. Now this is a uh, Fantex fan, and it's 200mm as I said. If you're interested in the fan just by itself, check out the review on my channel. However, let's go ahead and just get on into the specs so that we can compare it to the two other sizes of fans. So, this fan has a maximum uh, RPM of 800. So that, that's actually considerably lower than uh, the 120 and the 140, which I'll tell you what those are when we start to talk about them. However, the airflow is quite high on this with 110 CFM, which is, uh, that moves a lot of air, and you can feel it, you can definitely feel it, but how well it performs is obviously pretty well. So uh, in terms of how loud it gets, it's uh, 25 dBA. So that's actually quite low. Um, I'd say anything over 30 would be too high. Anything under 20 would be awesome. But 20 to 30, that's that's pretty good. So moving away from this, let's go ahead and move on to the Corsair AF 140 millimeter fan, which happens to have white LEDs just for the purpose of this video. Um, so this fan has a RPM of 1150 or 1150 so that's considerably higher than this 800 RPM fan uh, along with the CFM being 67 about 67 so that's considerably lower than this 200 and with the 24 dBA now mind you this is the quiet edition so it's a little bit less performing but at the same time a little bit quieter than the average Corsair AF fan but it's still uh, 1 dBA quieter than this 200, even though it moves considerably less airflow. Moving on to the uh, Corsair 120mm fan. This is the stock that came with my 350D. However, it's still equivalent to about an AF series. There's really not much of a difference there. So we're going to be uh, comparing it to the AF as if it was an AF since it performs very similarly. So the 120 has an RPM of 1650. Now, of course, that is higher than the 140. Mind you, you can up the RPM of the 140, but these are the typical speeds, at the speeds that are listed on Newegg, so that's what we're gonna use. So, 1650 RPM, and with a CFM of 63.47. So as you can see, this 120 millimeter fan really has to work a lot harder to get just about the same amount of airflow as the 140. And, works even harder to get nowhere near how much the 200 millimeter fan does along with it being about a 30 dBA so like I said I preferably wouldn't get anything louder than 30 and uh, that's borderline so that's obviously personal taste you might not mind how loud your computer gets with that said now there there may be some catches here um, obviously right now it's looking like this is going to be the distinct winner because it has such uh, such better performance but whether or not it really is as great as you guys are thinking right now we'll discuss in just a minute after I uh, show you guys just how loud each one of them is separately in a quick little clip alright so after that we'll be back here to uh, just wrap things up and I'll give my honest opinion on which I would recommend so we'll be right back Alright, and we're back. So, 
the uh, results were pretty well. Um, you can hear them quite well. Obviously, this is open. I can hear them from this distance. You could hear them pretty well in that video, but I don't think they were terribly loud as <clears throat> my Be Quiet fans are definitely uh, a lot quieter. But these are all pretty typical fans, and they all perform pretty well for noise level. So with that said, let's go ahead and talk about what I said. So right now, this is looking like the king, right? Well, maybe not. Because in my Corsair 350D, given it is a micro ATX, you can't even fit one in there. So, well, you might as well just toss this out the window, which I'm not going to do, because I happen to have the N2 Pro, which you can check out a review of on my channel. But with that said, this can fit uh, at the top. So, it's looking like now it's the king again for that case, right? Maybe not. So let's say you had this at the top, moving at 800 RPM at its uh, about 110 CFM. However, instead of having just one of these, you could fit three 140s, right? Three 140s would give you about 190 CFM. So you're looking at about 80 more. That's going to move a lot more air in total. However, even though it's going to perform a lot better, it will probably be a louder situation because you have these at about 25 dBA, and three of them together, that would give you about 75. Mind you, it's going to probably be quieter than 75, but it's still definitely going to be louder than just this one. So, now it's looking like 140 for performance, 200 for uh, quietness, and still a good amount of performance. Well, what are the 120s good for? Well, to be honest, mm, they're louder than the 140, and they move less air. So right there, that's two negatives, and there really is no positives. However, a lot of cases can only fit maybe two 120s and one 140 and no 200. So in that case, you would see the two 120s performing a lot better than the 140. So really, at the end of the day, it comes down to this. You know, it comes down to... What do you have room for? If you have room for three 120s, two 140s, or one 200, you might actually want to take the three 120s. Mind you, it would be a little louder, but you would get better performance. However, maybe you have room for both three 120s, three 140s, or one 200. In that case, the three 140s are going to give you the best performance, but the one 200 is going to give you close performance while being considerably quieter. So, Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you really want the best performance, uh, look at your case, see what you can fit. What's the biggest fan? Say you can fit two 140s or one 200. If you, you're looking for the best performance, the two 140s are going to give you that. However, if you want something quiet with a lot of performance, the 200 is going to provide you with that extra quietness while still giving you a great amount of performance. Now, you could find something like the Be Quiet fans, which are going to be really quiet, but at the same time, Two or three fans is always going to be louder than just one. So, at the end of the day, it really comes down to what you're looking for and what you want out of your computer. But hopefully, in this video, you were able to get enough information provided to you to really help you make that decision. And if that's what happened, definitely please be sure to leave a like so that I can know I was able to help you out. Or maybe you just enjoyed it and you found out what size fan you like, but maybe you won't use that one. It doesn't matter. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And... If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. If you have any more questions, uh, definitely leave the question below in the comments. And if you're wondering, for my computer, I actually opted for the Dual 140 Be Quiet rather than the 1200 that I could have had. So that was my choice. Yours might be different. Let me know in the comments what you decided. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tech Tactics here. And today... We're going to be taking a look at this Fantex 200mm fan. So, without any more, let's go ahead, go into the intro, and then I'll see you right back here.